Taylor, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little get ready with me, showing you guys my everyday fall makeup, my hair, and just like a go-to fall outfit. I've been really loving my makeup lately, so I really wanted to share all the products with you guys, and I don't really make makeup videos, so I thought this might be fun. So I'm gonna start off with my makeup, move on to my hair, and then my outfit, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. But yeah, anyway, let's just get into it. Just so you guys know, I have a mirror down here. In case I'm looking down a lot, this is what I'm looking at. But yeah, I already have my skin all prepped. I put on some moisturizer and I put on the Laneige lip mask to prep my lips for lipstick. So I don't know about you guys, but I like to start off with my eyes first. I know that might be weird, but that's just how I like to do my makeup. So I'm actually gonna start off with some eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. This is just, you know, a go-to and I don't really do anything crazy for eyeshadow because I have a really like small eyelids if you guys can see so I don't know I just never really try and I'm just kind of lazy to be honest <laughs> so I'm just gonna do literally like one color I'm gonna be using burnt orange it's just you know it's kind of like a muted orange which I really like it's not like super bright now that we're up close and personal I hope you guys can see I think this color really makes my eyes pop because I have hazel colored eyes. So it actually makes them look a lot more green when I have this on. As you can see, I go pretty hard on the eyeshadow. Obviously, I'm kidding. I am terrible at eyeshadow. That is why I stick with one color. But now I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. I always apply eyeliner because I just feel like it looks really good with my eye shape. I always do cat eyes. I've literally been doing it for years and years and years. The eyeliner that I'm using is just a drugstore one. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. The this is like my go-to affordable one. I actually really like the Kat Von D eyeliner, but it's pretty expensive for me, so I just kind of stick to my affordable one because this one does work really well as well. I rarely get my eyeliner perfect on the first try, so I always have to like clean it up and make it a little sharper. All right guys, and even closer. So now we're gonna do some mascara. I first go in with my eyelash curler. It is very dirty with the mascara, but I'm just going to curl my lashes a little bit. Guys, I finally found the best mascara for my eyelashes. I have like super straight eyelashes. So whenever I used to apply mascara, they would always just fall down throughout the day and it was super annoying. And I hate waterproof mascara like for the life of me because it's so hard to get off. I found one that is not waterproof, but it actually holds them up. It's lengthening, thickening, and just like the best thing ever. So it's the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational um yeah it's just this black one i think they have like a pink one but i have the black one and yeah it's literally a game changer this freaking difference is just amazing like my lashes have never looked this good now we're moving on to concealer. I actually use two different colors. I use like a lighter one and a darker one, but it's just the Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is like my tried and true. I've been using it for years and years. Like whenever I find a makeup product that I just freaking love and it's affordable, I just stick with it. But it never fails me. It's so creamy. It has really great coverage. And like I said, it's super affordable. So first I'm taking the lighter one. This is in the shade Fair. I know I do my makeup in such a weird order, but I don't know, it just works for me this way. Now I'm taking the darker color, which is medium, and I'm just applying it over the lighter one. I just like my under eyes to like match my skin tone a little more. Like I don't want it to look too much like of a difference. I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend that out. Now I'm gonna bake my under eyes with this Airspun Loose Face Powder. This has been my go-to for years. It's just the absolute best. It gives me the best coverage, doesn't have any flashback, and it doesn't make my under eyes crease like all day long. I've never actually tried the Laura Mercier one, but I'm sure it's really good. I just hate splurging on like every single makeup product because then I'm just gonna be broke since you have to like repurchase them all the time. And yeah, I don't know, I just, I only splurge on like foundation 
and my eyebrow products. While my under eyes are baking, I'm gonna apply my foundation. I didn't think I could find a better foundation than the Makeup Forever Stick Foundation, but I did. Thank you to Kathleen Light for recommending it. She is a makeup YouTuber. It is the NARS Matte Foundation. I think that's what it's called. I don't actually know, but I have it in the shade Santa Fe Medium 2. It's like the perfect matching shade for my self tan. I know this might be wrong, but I just like squeeze some onto my brush and then just apply it. Forget to blend down your neck as well. It doesn't cling to any dry patches and gives me like the best coverage ever. I really like full coverage foundations, but that are like, that feel lightweight on the skin. I'm looking a little crazy right now, but it's okay. I am going to bake my forehead a little bit because I hate when my forehead creases. It's like the most annoying thing ever. You just kind of like press in the powder like with a little extra powder. I don't do like a crazy baking, but it does help it last all day so I don't like crease throughout the day. Now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows with this Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. This is really gonna make my makeup look a lot better. I know and I leave in a few days for Florida to visit my family for Thanksgiving, which I'm super excited about. Are you guys doing anything fun for Thanksgiving? Or is your Thanksgiving like canceled this year? I know some people like aren't really going anywhere or seeing that much family. And my boyfriend's coming too, so it's gonna be super Super fun. I'm applying some brow gel. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This one's my favorite. All right, time to add some color back to my face. So I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. This is the Hula by Benefit. I really like the color of this one. I feel like it goes really well with my tan. And I don't really contour. I mean, I kind of try to with my bronzer, but I'm not very good at it. So I kind of just like, I don't know, add some color to my face. And I always do my jawline. Now for my best go at a nose contour. I'm not very good at it, but I just pinch my brush again and then kind of just go down the sides of my nose. Kind of just adding some contour or like some bronzer to my nose so it's like even with the rest of my face. For blush, I love using the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. It's just like the best color of blush for me. I don't know, just like with my tan, it just looks so amazing. I tried to switch it before because I just wanted to try something new, but nothing compares to this. It just looks so good. It has like a little shimmer in it, but not too much. And it's kind of like a peachy pink, which I really like. And I am not light on the blush. I feel like it just gives so much life to your face. So it's just like very important. And yeah, I just really love blush. I'm gonna set my face really quick with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the ultra matte one. Now that I have my face all set, I'm gonna apply some highlighter. So this is my new favorite. I just discovered it. It's actually so like poppin'. It is the Milk Makeup. Like, what is it called? Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. It's so good. Also apply this highlighter in my inner corner. I feel like the inner corner highlight really just like completes a makeup look. I do apply this like a little bit on my lids right here. Lastly, for my lips, I'm gonna be using this lip liner by Maybelline. I'm not exactly sure what shade it is, but if I figure it out, I will have it in the description. It's just like a nude color, so yeah, I'm just going to line my lips. I don't really overline at all because I kind of was blessed with some fuller lips. <laughs> for lip gloss i'm using finders keepers by ColourPop. this is like one of their satin finishes and i really like it it's like a pinky nude and i feel like it goes really well with this lip liner so here is the finished makeup look super glowy kind of matte but not like too crazy in your face it's just like a natural soft glam that's kind of what i go for So 
now for my hair if you guys have been watching my videos for a little bit now you might have noticed that i usually leave it natural i usually just air dry my hair and then leave it wavy because honestly i'm pretty lazy but you know it does help keep my hair pretty dang healthy and i actually do like how it looks so it kind of works out perfectly as you can tell my hair is not looking that wavy today i'm actually going to touch it up with a straightener and make it like extra straight again I straightened it the other day because my best friend was here and we went out so i wanted my hair to look like extra good and i haven't straightened my hair in so long so like i'm really loving it but i'm gonna do my goji hairstyle with my straight hair i usually do it with my wavy hair but yeah it works either way goji hairstyle lately is super simple so any of you will be able to do it but it's super cute and it like adds so much style to like your outfit and just makes you look 10 times cuter without like barely trying So now that my hair is all straight, I'm going to add a couple braids. So I'm going to be using these little clear elastics. You can get these on Amazon. I just need two of them to take this little bit and just kind of leave it out because I really like these front pieces to like frame your face. And then I'm going to take just a little bit, well, kind of like, like a medium sized chunk of hair. And then I'm going to braid that. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side but actually gonna make this braid a little bit chunkier so i just leave a little piece out again and then i'm taking like kind of like a bigger chunk here and braiding that as well so cute like effortless like this took only a couple minutes it was so simple it just adds a little spice you know now it is time to pick out an outfit okay welcome to my closet we're gonna pick out what i'm wearing i kind of have an idea so i'll show you guys i haven't actually tried it on so we'll see how it looks but i'm thinking this little black tank top it's from brandy melville super cute it's like a v-neck has like some hair on it from nala and then i have this really cute top that i just got it's literally the cutest thing ever it's from boohoo you guys will see it on but it's like this half like sweater it's so cool it has like a turtleneck so cool and then for bottoms i'm thinking jeans with like a belt so i have these like ripped jeans so they're super cute they have like rips in the knees and the super cute like grommet belt i feel like this would look really good with that and also the sweater it's like a dark brown i didn't really say that oh my gosh do i have hair literally on all my clothes because of nala love my life and then to finish off the look i'm thinking like chunky boots so i have these new boots that i just got they're so cute they're from public desire they're just like super chunky super cute so yeah we're gonna try this on let's hope it looks good Right, guys here is the finished look i'm literally obsessed so here is the outfit that i put together now you guys can see what i was saying about a half sweater but yeah it has a turtleneck balloon sleeves just like such cute details and it just adds so much style to this outfit like it's such a unique top and i really love how it looks in contrast with this black tank top because this is like a dark chocolatey brown and then the black belt the ripped jeans and the chunky boots like it's just such a cute fall look i'm obsessed to really finish off the look i'm gonna throw on this h&m shoulder bag it's super cute i'm now ready to go out and have a great fall day so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had so much fun filming it i don't know why i don't do this more often anyway don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I'll leave me a comment down below and subscribe for for more if you haven't already but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye